Konnichiwa, all my lovely Kohai. My name is Shobi Senpai, and I'll be your forever and loyal hostess. Welcome back to my channel, and let's get to it. Today for you, I have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Wave 1 Action Vinyls from the Loyal Subjects line. These figures are from the same Action Vinyl line as my Mighty Morphin Power Ranger ones. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the box. At the top we see the Nickelodeon logo with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. Wave 1 is right here and we have Raphael popping out in kind of like a comic book explosion. And over here we have the Loyal Subjects logo and the Action Vinyls logo. On this side of the box, once again, we see the Action Vinyl logo, and this time we see some of the characters that we have the possibility of getting, and all of these characters have a 2 out of 16 chance of being found. We have Master Splinter, Shredder, Casey, and Karia. On this side of the box, once again, we see the Action Vinyls logo at top. And here we see that we have the options of getting all four turtles, and there's a 2 out of 16 chance to get them as well. We have Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo. On the back of the box, we just have some information about the figures and some warning labels, and we also see that there are three different secret figures that we can also find in this series. This one is one of 24, this one is one of 48, and this one is one of 96. I'm thinking that these two are just two color variants of the turtles themselves, and I think this one right here might be April, because the outline is way different than any other figure on the box. It says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, collaboration with the Loyal Subjects, and the action vinyl and the Loyal Subjects logo are at the top, also with the Nickelodeon. First, before we get started, I have some exclusives to show you. The first set of exclusives I have to show you are the radioactive exclusives of all four of the Turtles. These, just like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, were a Hastings exclusive with the Loyal Subjects line. This set of exclusives comes with Radioactive Leonardo, Radioactive Michelangelo, Radioactive Raphael, and Radioactive Donatello. And what these figures actually do is they glow in the dark. On this side of the box we have a bigger picture of a Radioactive Leonardo and Raphael. And on this side of the box we just have bigger pictures of Radioactive Michelangelo and Donatello. Here's what all the figures look like. They all come with their weapons just like the regular action vinyls do. Except this time they all have the radioactive or glow-in-the-dark look to them. The second set of exclusives I have for this line is the Metallic Exclusive. And this one only comes with Metallic Armor Shredder and Metallic Armor Foot Ninja. Once again, these were a Hastings Exclusive with the Loyal Subjects line. On this side, we just have a bigger picture of Metallic Armor Shredder. And on this side, we just have a bigger picture of the Metallic Armored Foot Ninja. Here's what the figures look like, and just like the box says, they have the metallic look to them. Alright, enough chit-chat. Let's open up these bad boys and get to figuring them out. Woo! I have 11 of these to open up for you today. I'm hoping for a full set. But, unfortunately, the Chaser figures have such high numbers in the rarity, that means it's going to be super hard to find them, but keeping my fingers crossed that maybe I got lucky. Here's my first box. Alright, and for our first figure... ba -dum! Oh no! Okay, we got Raphael! There is his little sticker card. All the figures are going to come with this little sticker card. It just has some information about the figure and uh, what number the figure is out of all 11 of them. And Raph is number two. Here's a close-up look at the sigh and comma that he comes with. And they're super detailed and I really love the metallic paint that comes on these. 
And here's the figure himself, and he's super cute. I love the expression they gave him. Raph was always the mean-looking one in the series, or the strong, cannot show any weakness one. And just like the Power Ranger figures, they're movable, they can bend around, they have some flexibility to them, that's why they're called the Action Vinyls. And as you can see, just like the Power Ranger figures, they stand on their own quite nicely. Here is my second box. And we got... What did we get? ba -dum! We got Leonardo. And Leonardo is the first out of the 11 figures. Here are his katanas and shurikens that he came with. They are super detailed and really nicely made. I still love the metal paint that these weapons come with. I think they look really nice. Something really neat about Leonardo is he came with this piece and this piece has like a little indent area right here and they're actually hollow. They're meant for you to put his katanas in and they actually fit so well in there. I absolutely love this. This is just a fun little piece. And here's Leonardo himself. He looks super cool. He has the serious leader face on just like normal. And right here on his back is the hole in order for that peg to fit his swords in. Like so. Now they are a little loose in there so if he does fall It'll probably fall off, but it still sits in there pretty nicely. Here's my third box. And we got... Ba-doom! Ooh, we got Shredder. And Shredder is the sixth figure out of 11. Here is Shredder's weapons, and they look pretty badass if I do say so myself. For chibified versions of it, I think they look really great. Here is Shredder himself. Now my Shredder uh, must have been able to pass through the product check pretty easily because he's got a lot of dents and nicks and unclean spots on him. Um, yeah, he, he's pretty messed up, but that's okay. Uh, I'm happy to have him. Here is my fourth box. Oops. And we got ba -dum! Oh no! Already a double, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting the full set. But by taking a look at this shredder, um, I did notice that he's not as bad as my original shredder, but he still has the beat-up look to him, so I'm thinking that's how he's supposed to look. Alright, and we... Got ba -dum. Okay, we got Casey Jones. And Casey Jones is actually the eighth figure out of all 11 of the figures. Here is everything that Casey comes with, and I really love how they texturize these little bits and everything. They really look like he's been using them to kick some Foot Clan butt. I really like these pieces a lot. But it doesn't stop there. He also came with this, the bag that he puts everything in, and it is hollow, so you can actually put everything in there, and it fits in there perfectly. Here is Casey Jones, and he is all muscled out. He looks like he is ready for some crime fighting. I really like him a lot. His mask is really amazing. They did a really good job on his hair texturing and giving him the Casey Jones aesthetic look. I really love this one a lot. And we 
got Boom. We got Master Splinter. I love Master Splinter. Master Splinter is the fifth figure out of all 11 of the figures. Here's everything that Master Splinter comes with. He has his canes, two arrows, and his bow. But he also comes with something else. He comes with this little arrow holder. I can't think of the actual term for it right now. And it also has a little tab on the back of it. So that way you could put it on the back of him. And it is hollow like all the other things. And you can actually fit the arrows in there like so. I really love it when figure companies give you fun little bits like this. It brings the figures more to life and makes them more true to their characters, I believe. Here is Master Splinter, and I absolutely love him. I think he is up there with Casey Jones and being my favorite right now. He looks so dang good, and his tail and everything looks good too. They did a wonderful texturing job on him. And right there's the hole for you to put the arrow holder in. Like so. Oh, I love it. Here is my seventh box. And we got Boom. Oh no. It's another double everybody. It is Leonardo. Eighth box. That one opened very nicely. And we... Oh no, I can't find the little picture card. Here we go. And we got... Doo -doo. We got Donatello! Awesome! We just need Michelangelo and then we've got all of the TMNT. Donatello is the third figure out of all 11 figures. Here's everything that Donnie came with. It may only be two things, but they look really nice in person and even on camera they look great. The wrench is a beautiful metallic painted color and the staff that he has has all these wonderful wood notches to them. Here is Donnie and he looks really stinking cute. I really love him and his coloring. I think his facial expression is very much him. Here is my ninth box. And we got Badoom! Oh my gosh, this is my third Leonardo. Holy crap. Here is my 10th box. I really hope I get Michelangelo. I would really like to have all the turtles in my collection. And we've got... Oh my lordy. We've got another Splinter. That is three for this video. Three Leonardos and three Splinters. Here is my last box. Keep your fingers crossed, my lovely Kohai, that we actually get Mikey. And we got... Ba-doom! Oh my gosh, we did it! We got Michelangelo! This is super exciting! I'm really happy! Way to finally come in, Mikey! Alright, so Michelangelo is the fourth figure out of all 11 figures that you can get. Here are the nunchucks and the pizza that Mikey came with. It's really cute. This slice is separate from the rest of it, so you can actually have Mikey hold the pizza or any one of the characters hold it. And here's his nunchucks, and they look really cute too. Here is Michelangelo with his big cheesy grin. He is the class clown of the group, and he looks super stinking cute. I really like him. He is so adorable. 
So these are all the figures that I got today, excluding the doubles that I received, and I think these figures are spot on. I absolutely love these guys. I loved watching TMNT when I was growing up, and I really think that these action finals hit the mark on the characters from the old cartoon series. If I had to pick a favorite out of all these guys, I'm honestly stuck between Master Splinter and Casey Jones. I think they turned out really, really good. Don't get me wrong, I love the turtles, they are in my heart, but I just love how these figures turned out so much. I just have a couple of negatives with the figures, and that's just the normal that comes with these kind of small figures. There is a couple of paint smudges and not sharp crease lines in certain areas, but aside from that, these figures are spot on in there for anybody who loves TMNT or just aesthetically likes small figures like this from blind boxes. I really recommend these. Now let's compare them. Here they are compared to my Jumbo Hatsune Miku Nendroid. Here they are compared to my Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Action Vinyls. Here they are compared to my Five Nights at Freddy's collectible vinyl figure set one by Funko. And finally, here they are compared to two of my Magic the Gathering pop vinyls, a Johnny and Kiora. Well, I hope you liked my video. If you did, don't be afraid to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to become one of my lovely Kohai today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and my figure collection. I always leave the details in the description box down below. Well, that's it for this week's video, my lovely Kohai. I'll see you next time. Bye!